how my mom shaped me to who I am today. You know, I was always uh, guided before even getting married on the responsibility of, you know, getting married, uh, becoming a father. I think I was almost on boot camp for six months. It was a bit of a tough time for me in the house. Uh, I can, I can, I, ne I, I thought it was not intentional. I thought they were just upset that I was leaving, but then I think it was upset that I was leaving the house and as well as um, worried that will my son be able to take this uh, responsibility as a, uh, a husband and a father. When it comes to my career, I think almost every move I, I made, my mother always questioned it. <laughs> you know, you need to know what you want to do. Is this what you want to do? Is this the career path that you want to take? Um, it's not always about the money. Make sure it doesn't affect your morals and values. And at that time, in the beginning, I can comfortably say that. I'm like, she's just talking. She doesn't know. And then after one year of working, uh, you know, in one of the, my first organizations, I was put in many scenarios where these morals and values were tested. And um, at that specific time, you don't really know that it's uh, linked to your mom's advice. But then when you go wrong, you, you, first thing you do, you scratch your head and you say, mom's right. Um, and you can always come back and say, you know, I did this. And the first thing she says is, I told you so. <laughs> you know, I told you so, I warned you. And uh, you take a beating in a sense, um, uh, but it's, it's for the better. And I also have a supporting wife as well. Uh, both of these two women in my life, I can comfortably say, were, uh, had a big impact on my choices. Um, and it's, the, the funny thing is, they're always teaming up against me if I, do, if I make a decision. Both of them, most of the time. So uh, it can get sometimes frustrating, but at the end of the day, both of these women in my life want, uh, want the best for me. It's all choices, it's all priorities, and you know if you, you can handle it or not. If a woman wants to do it, she can do it. I mean, she can take care of a, ch a child. I don't think being a CEO is a challenge. I still remember when I used to work for Ociped and I was traveling actually a lot. Uh, at that time and almost six times in a year and they were in the stage where they were in school where I would be you know I had a midnight flight to catch and I would be checking that they've done their homework while within an hour I need to catch a flight you know and that time there was no internet so you know you I, and I did it you know I, I do it I'm not saying it was easy and I think as a woman sometimes you you do evaluate your priorities and I have sacrificed, you know, when you think, well, you know, how is this going to pan out? How is your decision going to impact on the rest of the family? So, uh, and it's not easy because society judges women much harsher than they judge men. Uh, you know, I, I, I've seen more women attending PTA meetings in schools than I've seen men. I would definitely advise women to not to feel guilty to take, by taking care of themselves first. During our time, you know, what was happening was there was so much uh, expected of you. You had to be the very good wife, very good wife, meaning domestically your house, absolutely 100% clean, you know, your cooking, uh, you know, then you had your job to look after, you had your kids, and then you had the society, whether it's, as we know, in our community, visiting. And so it's much harsher on women. Uh, the expectations are much, much higher then they are, uh, we are still a very, in my opinion, quite male dominated. So having to do all of that, and then, you know, having time for yourself during those time, because this is where we were grandmothers, there was no such thing as having time for yourself. So my only advice would be, when I look at some of these young mothers, don't feel guilty about taking time for yourself. You need to. You really, really need to, whether it's doing something that you like, uh, handing over the kids to their dad, and saying, you know, I need to go off for coffee with my friends. This is how I chill. I think that's really, really important. Yeah. Uh, and it's something, I think we, we are taught to give so much and to sacrifice so much. And we have, and we continue to do. There's nothing wrong with that. But in the process also, you need to make time for yourself and not feel guilty about it. It's not about, I think, I think sometimes women have this guilt conscious is they feel selfish if I take time to myself you know, how is that going to look like, you know, it's, it's going to be a bit selfish that I've done that, okay. But it's not, it's part of your own self-care to be a better mother, a better wife, 
you know, a, a, a better, a, you know, a better grandmother, a better friend, because you need that. Uh, it's like you're rejuvenating yourself. Uh, and I think that's, that's one message that I would definitely give to, to, to women, to not feel guilty about ta taking, you know, some time just for yourself. A lot of uh, mothers, new mothers, you'd hear the sentence, they might say it in a joking way, am I a bad mom? You, I've heard that, they say it in a joking way, I've heard it plenty of times. Um, and it's usually because they didn't, um, they said, um, I went with my friends and I didn't see my daughter for an hour, like, you know, it was already close to our nap time or something. You need to balance, but a lot of the times they, they're hard on themselves. Am I a bad mom? You were with her the whole day, you know, you spent time with her. Take time for yourself. I, I, de I definitely agree. Um, you have to give yourself that. You've given so much, spending an hour, like when my mother spends an hour to work out, if you want to get ask her anything, it's after the training. Khalas, yeah, and it's a good time, you know, she trained, uh, you know, working out, she releases endorphins, she's in a good mood. It's, it's good for you, and it's good for me as well, <laughs> <laughs> to, to just, you know, um, get that out of the way. So uh, I definitely agree, yeah. I could definitely not pay you back, but I gave you a granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> and many more to come. <laughs>